want so i wanted to come on and make a video i got this die oops sorry from um crafty devil's sale this week came in this week and i also got this one i've been wanting this one for ages and they dropped it down to 9.99 so i thought yeah i'll get that but i'm not using that today i just wanted to show you that i'm going to use this so this is called the laced boat easel creator die set i thought i would use that to make a nice easel card i just want to try it out and i'm also going to use the wings of a rainbow all oh, your art paper and card because i've been dying to use this so i'm not even opening this yet let's open this up and see what it's like okay so i'll link like all the all air art stuff down below come on out you come out you come oops right okay so this is a huge die so it comes in how many parts is it let me see let me get my trolley out the way it comes in 15 dies so this one is the main die so that's what creates your easel so that's pretty cool and then you've got like all the inner parts and the layers and then this one makes a bow so we'll try it anyway so we'll cut out the main bit first of all and let's see right i'm just going to move this out of the way there we go and then we'll choose a paper well i say paper i always say it all the time but these are card and this look designed by anna I've showed these before in a video, they're absolutely gorgeous. So, like I said, because, um, like, they're European, these are really cheap for us guys. So I will link them down below. They're absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. Beautiful. So I'm thinking... maybe let's see if i got that right in the middle i could maybe do that but then i don't really want it to be too oh look at the rainbow what's on the other side of the rainbow that one no i think It's hard to choose, they're also nice, it's difficult to choose. Also pretty. Right, I'm gonna go with this one. Okay. So I need my trimmer. Trim it down to size first of all. Right, okay. And we'll get some low tack tape. And I think we'll go with this size, this side. So we'll trim it down. still gives us that huge part that we can use for something else so I think about the wheel so that I can get both the butterflies in so if we go for a bit there Get a bit of tape and we'll just sort of de-stick it a bit and de-stick it a bit on my top as well right 
Okay, let's turn that over. And let's cut it there. Oops, it's slipped. Ah. this off gently I think I like wiggling it like that because it seems to not stick then there you go and then this one perfect okay <coughs> excuse me so we have got the base shape and it's got the stitching around it. That's really pretty actually. I really like that. I like how good quality that card does. It hasn't um, like buckled or anything like that. So, let me think then. How is this going to work? Because... I'm trying to think what an easel even looks like. Be a sec. There's some. Yeah. Oh, here. It's got the instructions here. So basically, it says this bit lies flat like that. Ah, right, so they do it opposite to what I do it. Because usually when I'm making my, like, doing it just by hand, I do it the other way. But they've got it this way. And then you fold this bit over. Aha. And then you cut this bit out again. And then you just use that bit. And that's what gives you your stop. Right, okay. So I'll cut this out again. And they'll come back and show you what I mean. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys, because this one, if I do it the way that they're doing it, my butterflies are going to look like they're upside down, and my flowers. So what I'm going to do is keep this one for my base bit, and then this one I'm going to cut again, but I'm going to do it like upside down, so that I'm cutting it, it looks like I'm cutting it upside down. Does that make sense? Okay, it will when I show you when I've cut it out. Okay, so I've cut it out again, and I'll show you what I mean this time by cutting it upside down. So... Let's just quickly take this tape off. Okay. Perfect. Right. So what I mean, so that was the other half of that A4. Eh, sorry, 12 by 12. That's cool. Let's pop this out of the way just for a wee second because we don't need it right now. So you can see then, one of them now I've cut that way and the other one I've cut that way. Now the reason being that I've done it like that, that looks like my, so my butterflies are upside down and my flowers are upside down and that one's the right way because it's saying that you'd have to, let me show you, fold this one in on itself, okay? So that's going to make the bottom panel. So now do you see when I turn it, my butterflies are facing the right way. And so are my flowers. And then that one goes down like that. And then with this one that I originally cut, if I had left it that way, it would have been upside down. So I'm going to change it and use that one. And all I'm going to do is cut along the score line. 
like that. And then, oops, let me just make sure I'm doing that correctly. Yeah, and then this just gets put onto there like that so that when it lies flat it goes like that okay so what we'll do is we'll put a wee bit of sticky red sticky tape usually i would use like wet glue but i'll just use a bit of this today it's just as good so put this on here And then you just need to make sure that where you're putting it, you're not going to see the edges at the side. So I think that's a bit and we are. Just straighten it up. Okay, and then that sits like that, and that's what makes your eagle. See what I mean? So you've got your butterflies the right way on this one and then you've got your butterflies the right way on that one. So that's really cute. Love that. That is actually really nice. That's slightly squint and that's going to annoy me. If it's alright, do you know what? I'll just leave it. Slightly. You can't even really notice it by the time we decorate it. I don't know if I can get it off with it completely destroying it because it's red liner probably no it would have just annoyed me really annoyed me i cannot keep it in squint it would have drove me crazy there we go see that's what i get for using red liner when i'm so used to using wet glue oops stick to what you know Sam. I do use red liner for stuff like if I'm making loaded envelopes and boxes and things like that sometimes I will use red liner but the most of the time I will use glue. It's just what you get used to isn't it? It's like you get so used to your own ways of doing stuff. Right so make sure it's straight this time. There we go. And stick that down so while well, that's drying a wee bit let's have a look now i don't know i don't think i'm going to use any of the i mean you could if you wanted to you could use the inside bits to decorate it um but i think because we're doing it all error like one with the paper and it's so beautiful then i think i'll just keep that card the way it is and let's see so i'm going to decorate it up so let's get the add-on pack I'm going to get so much in here again this will all be linked down below guys you can have a wee look if you want some look at the clouds oh look at that it's just gorgeous best friends forever always be yourself oh I like the best friends forever I think I'll use that you got all the wee leaves and gorgeous florals. Oh, look at the flames. Just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Dream, love and freedom. Love, laugh and love. Look, you can make it into weddings. Baby cards. This pack is really versatile. Look at the butterflies. And the unicorns rainbows freedom love and dreams I think I'll use this one as my stopper I was going to use the bow out of the actual die pack but I think I'll use one of the stoppers one of the tags sorry as 
my stopper and then we'll see what we're going to use to decorate but I'm definitely going to use that wee sentiment where did it go this one best friends forever I love that I've actually got somebody in mind for this card so let's use this one that's what's cool about this because you know that when you get your add-on pack everything is going to match so let's just use this oops I've still got a wee bit of tape on there Okay, I'm going to grab some double sided foam for this one. Put in this pocket here and grab some of this. struggle is real the struggle is real right okay let's put some glue on the back isn't that beautiful it's got the matching butterflies and it's just gorgeous so then we will put our card up here and i'm going to have my stopper let's make sure that's straight as well about there so i really like that that's really pretty Look, you open it up, you've got lots of space for writing here, and then you've got your beautiful design, and then that sits like that. And then I'm going to have that best friend forever. So let's just take that off of there. And I've got a nice pink. I'm going to go around the edge. And just tie it in like that. <coughs> Best friends forever. I think that'll go there. And then we need something. I think what I am going to have is like I really like this wee hot air bone because it looks like the sky, and then we could maybe use like one of the clouds. To just it's a shame we put into this beautiful card, but it's one thing I, I really don't like about double sided paper, is it's so hard to choose. But never mind, you've got lots of different ones in here, so they give you lots. And then where did I put the one? Where are you? Where are you? I definitely did see you. What did I do with you though? It would have helped if I'd have kept it out, but no. Where is it? Is it over here? I'm not going there. You've got the clouds. So again, it's a shame we cut into that border, but 
we'll have one, two of the clouds. And I don't know if you can see, guys, it's really difficult to see, but the actual wee clouds have got the pink stitching around them. Beautiful. So, let's fussy cut out a couple of these wee guys. Just because they're so cute. If you guys are crafting along, you can just watch me fussy cut and for you guys that are not, then you can just fast forward this wee bit. If you don't want to sit and watch me fussy cut in a cloud. Okay, so we've got that cloud and then we will have our wee beautiful hot air balloon. This card you could like add in dyes and all stuff like that, but I think these papers or the cards because it's like really thick papers um, speak for themselves. They're so beautiful, they absolutely speak for themselves. Right, okay, so we've got our wee hot air balloon and we can have our clouds, we can have one down here and one up here so that's pretty cute so we'll put them on so i want to read the wet glue of this one here we have our hot air balloon there i'll just put it down lightly so that i can put my other cloud down behind it and we'll have the cloud that one about there so that's really cute you've got your clouds and then i'm going to have my best friends forever oh look you've got it pink i didn't realize actually i meant to say that i didn't realize on that one though it's pink on one side and blue on the other how cool is that Oh, now you know I love these papers guys. This is why I was so desperate to work with this company. The papers are gorgeous. I think I'll have Oh, I don't know The pink. I'm glad I spotted that actually <clears throat> I did see it when we done like the video the unboxing video, but I just forgot so we'll put that there Oh Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? That is a beautiful, 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 beautiful. And then I think all we need is a few wee gems in the middle of the flowers and we're sorted. And I've got a few wee pink ones. And I'll have one here, maybe one here, and one here. Come on, stick into me. There. I'll put it on the puppy tail, it's easier. And here. I'm on there. And that's so cute! And that lovely it's just such a simple wee card but it's so nice so the actual card itself will fit into a six by six envelope but there you go there is the finished card isn't that beautiful couple of wee cuts out just using the tonic easel card a uh, easel die set and then you've got your wee card so i think that's beautiful so yeah, thanks for watching guys. Please hit me a huge big thumbs up.
and talk to me in the comments let me know what you think but i think that's really sweet so simple and nice just the the papers to speak for themselves thanks guys bye, -bye.